To use this feature in Prime, you first want to make sure that you're a Loop Pro member with access to Prime Teams and Setlists. You can become a pro on loopcommunity.com. If you're a Loop Pro member, you have access to features in Prime like syncing your set lists across your devices, saving custom arrangements to the cloud, and adding team members in your organization to your set lists. But to make sure those all work correctly, there's one important step, and that's the sync button. The sync button at the top of Prime acts as a save button to make sure that your set lists and arrangements sync to the cloud, so you can access the same set list on every device. So let's look at how to do that. So I'm in Prime, and if I have my set list here with these two songs, I can edit my arrangement. Let's bring this chorus to the beginning. Hit Done. I can turn my instruments on and off. Let's say I'm already playing acoustic, and I already have a drummer and a bass player, so I'm going to turn those off. Now, if I hit Sync, this set list will actually sync to the cloud. You want to wait until it says Sync Status Successfully Synced. Hit OK. And now if I were to pull up this set list called Sunday Morning on any other device, it would have these exact songs with this arrangement and these instruments. I can also save this arrangement for later to be used in another set list. To do that, hover over the BPM on your Mac, click the three dots, click Add to Library. We can name this new arrangement, I'll call it Sunday Morning, and hit Yes. Now you want to make sure you hit Sync again to make sure that arrangement syncs to the cloud as well. Once this says that it's successfully synced, we can go to the website to make sure that they'll be viewable on the website and on our other devices. So let's go to loopcommunity.com, make sure you're logged in to the same account that you're using Prime in, click Prime Cloud, and here you can click Prime Setlist, and you'll see our Sunday morning setlist is right here with the two songs. Here you can see the songs here, you could also add more songs. So if we were to add a song, let's say we add this one right here, now I have three songs in my set list, but if I go back to Prime, there's still only two, and that's because we need to hit the sync button again. And once it's, we'll pop this up and say new version available, click update, and that will make sure that the latest version of the set list is updated. So once it's synced, it will begin downloading this track and we can use it in Prime. Let's also make sure that our arrangement synced to the cloud as well. So let's go back to loopcommunity.com and come to Prime Arrangements and you'll see This Is Amazing Grace, Sunday Morning. So that just ensures that you can use this arrangement in a new set list on any device. So if you share a set list with a team member or someone shares one with you, you can access that by going to Load Set List, Shared With Me, and then click the set list to download it to Prime. Now you'll still see a sync button here, but this one actually won't allow you to override any of the changes to the main set list. So if your team members come in here and they turn off different instruments or adjust the volume and they hit sync, none of the changes will override the main pro account. Using the sync button in Prime allows for you to save your set lists and arrangements to the cloud so you can access them on the website and on all of your devices with Prime. Become a pro today on loopcommunity.com.